Hi, I'm Molly, master of the Psychic Club. You're the one who's visiting the club to win the medal. How do I know this? Because I'm psychic. Okay, let me test my new card strategy against your deck. Are you ready? Yes, sir. When you do me, it's for six prizes. Shall we start then? He basically has, like, a Chances and Mr. Mime and Alakazam that transfers all damage to the Chances. Which, he does have a really good strategy. A few moments later. Let's see what Moe has got. Let's see. Albert's on bench. Scoop up. Oh. Hey buddy, how you guys doing? We're finally continuing back with the Pokemon train card game for the Game Boy Color. Episode 4, I presume. Yeah, episode 4. If you guys watched the previous episode, we challenged the Fire-type gym leader, Ken. And we challenged against the Science Cub leader, I think his name is Vic. And we got both of their gym badges. And now, we're going to be continuing on to the Electric Gym, which is going to be basically our biggest weakness in this game. Before we continue on with this video, if you guys do like the video, like the video down below. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Click bell for notifications when new videos come up. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and also my schedule when new videos come up are all linked in the description below. And I highly recommend checking every single one of them out. So now with all the introductions out of the way, we're going to head directly to the Lightning Club. But this is where we have our biggest weakness. So let's do it. Okay, how many trainers do we have to face? We have to face three trainers. Let's go. First one. Isn't Pikachu totally cute? My heart skips a beat whenever I see those cute little eyes. Hey, do you want to do with my Pikachu deck? Sure. Okay then, let's play with four prizes. Hey, right, Pikachu. We're here with the Pikachu. The Pikachu. Alright, so let's see what your Pikachu gets. Or a Pikachu deck, that is. Alright, so we're gonna play Squirtle up on the field. And we're gonna place up Squirtle on the bench. I actually, here's my plan. I'm actually more thinking of Saki off my first Squirtle. So that we could basically set up for our next one. So, first Pikachu. Flying one. Bill. Draw two cards. And, let's see. Pikachu on bench, obviously. Like an electric energy on the flying Pikachu. Thunder shot. Yeah. Whoops, there's Squirtle. That Squirtle's good as dead. <laughs> so, see ya. But that's fine. Do we have anything good? Let's see. Uh -oh. This is awful. Yep. Just take it out. Just take out my Squirtle. Because now I have one ready in the bench. So, Bill, draw two cards. And, let's see. Pikachu, obviously, gonna be on the bench. Electric, oh, lightning energy to Pikachu. Thunder Shack. Well, it doesn't matter anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be our hardest one. But... We're gonna see if we can do it. Squirtle, come on out. Draw into Articuno. Yay! <laughs> Asking you shall receive. Let's see, I don't have anything, but we'll just count the bubble. Come on. Palace! Yay! Okay. Got Pikachu nice and paralyzed. So, Jennifer draws her next card. What's it gonna be? A surfing Pikachu. And one energy to regular Pikachu and finish the turn without attacking. Okay, we're cured of our paralysis. Can we draw into something good? Computer search. Okay, I got an idea. We're gonna plus power. We're gonna computer search, ditch. These two, we're gonna grab Professor Oak. Yeah, we're gonna have to hook up ourselves a new hand. Let's do it. Seven new cards. 
let's see what these cards can really do. Let's see, we got another Articuno, we got plus power. Yeah, we got, an, I got an idea, we're gonna ditch energy retrieval and a Blastoise to grab Sweeter. And let's see, do we have any... Okay, we're gonna plus power again. And we're just gonna take out this Squirtle. And that Squirtle, Flying Pikachu. Uh, that's what I meant to say. But anyways, Flying Pikachu's taken down with 30 damage. Alright, we're gonna grab this prize card, which is an item binder. Okay, Pikachu back. Another Pikachu's up front. Let's see, electric energy to that Pikachu. Yep. Squirtle's dead. Dear. Yeah. <laughs> well, dear. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, Articuno's actually gonna be our Pokemon, but it's gonna have to carry us during this, if you wanna be honest with you guys. Because Articuno has no weaknesses. But we're gonna place Articuno on bench. We're gonna power up this Articuno. We're gonna item finder, ditch these two. We're gonna have to grab Oak again. And we're just gonna Oak up a new hand. If we get another Squirtle, that would be fine. Because we could basically place that up on bench. Yep, we got Squirtle. Place that down. Do we have anything else? Nah, we're just gonna end our turn. Yeah, we're gonna have to build up our bench Articuno, and that's how we're gonna have to win this. So, we're gonna take... Okay, so Pikachu gets 10 damage directly to itself, and that's fine. We're gonna draw into another Water Energy. We're gonna place this Water Energy down on Articuno, and that's it. So, what's Jennifer gonna do now? Surfing Pikachu... And Thunder Jolt. Okay, how much is it gonna do? Okay, I mean, I it's already gonna do 30 damage, but I just want to see if it can get 10 damage on itself. But that wasn't the case. We got Blastoise. Okay, perfect. All right, we can just evolve Squirtle White immediately into Blastoise, and we're just gonna drop Water Energies down on. Articuno, and that's it. We're just gonna let this Articuno go down. And we're gonna basically have to take out Pikachu with uh, Articuno now. But anyways, 10 damage, yeah. The, but now the unfortunate thing is, she still has, she still has one prize card left. So once she takes it, we lose. So we gotta finish her off with this Articuno right now. But we're gonna drop a lot of energy on Blastoise. We're gonna computer search. Ditch these two cards to grab Professor Oak. And we're gonna oak up ourselves a new hand again. So draw seven new cards. And we're gonna see what these seven cards really can do. Water energy on Blastoise. We got ourselves a bill. Draw two cards. See what we got. Water energy and another water energy. Drop it on Blastoise. Drop this down on Blastoise. And let's do it. Blizzard. Alright, just get this Pikachu out of here. And there we go. Alright, 10 damage to our bench Pikachu. So 50. And let's see. Pikachu took 10. Surfing Pikachu took 10. And another Surfing Pikachu took 10. Okay, we're going to grab this, which is an item finder. Alright, next Pikachu's up. Let's see. Ooh. The problem I have is that this Pikachu has like plenty of energies on it. Uh-oh. This is gonna be awful. If she if she's just gonna basically paralyze the heck out of my Articuno. But we're gonna place this Articuno down. We're gonna have to power it. this one up just in case. And we're just gonna have to end our turn. Because we can't retreat when we're paralyzed. Uh, let's see. Done this shot. Oh no. Are we gonna get paralyzed out of here? I think we might be. We really need to hope we don't get another paralysis, 
paralyzed. You got Bill. I'm not gonna do anything. Come on, we just don't need another paralyzed. Come on, come on, don't, 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 don't. Come on, don't, 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 don't. Okay, we can retreat now. Because now we have no choice, but we're stuck having to use Blastoise, essentially. Alright, I'm gonna check. What's her poke? Okay. Surfing Pikachu has one water energy. Surfing, this Surfing Pikachu has none. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm confident we could just switch right into Blastoise, even though, yes, we're weak to it. But at the same time, though, I think we could actually deal with this Pikachu right now. By grabbing these two water energy, slap this down on Blastoise, and we're just gonna go straight for the Hydro Pump. So we could just take this Pikachu out for 60 damage. And now we'll grab this Pyre's Car, which is the Professor Oak. Surfing Pikachu's up, which is probably the one with the water energy, yeah. Okay, we won! We actually won! <sighs> this whole battle essentially had to rely entirely on hoping we didn't get paralyzed. But we didn't, and we actually managed to luck ourselves out a our first win in the Electric Gym. Okay. Well, that was close. Ah, uh, my Pikachu lost. We got a Mystery Pack, which is Raichu, which is ironic because... And also a Pikachu, because we faced the Pikachu deck. Another Mystery Pack, we got ourselves... Not a Pikachu. You have to take care of your Pokemon cards. Yeah. Okay. I wonder what Isaac's doing. What? A Pokemon train card duel? I'll be glad to do any time. Yep. Okay, four prizes. Ready? Let's go. Okay, Brandon. Let's do it. Okay, so draw seven cards. Let's see what we got. Okay, can we place this Gordo up on the field or the arena? We're gonna place this photo up on bench, and that's it. Okay. Let's go. Can we go first? Heads! Yay! Okay. Draw into computer search. How many computer search do we have? Okay, that's perfect. I got an idea. But first, we're gonna water energy squirtle, but I'm just gonna wait on it. We're just gonna go straight for the bubble. Can we paralyze? Damn it. That's that blows. Electabuzz is really threatening. Like Electabuzz is really good. Ugh. Don't get the paralyze. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna be like an oak. Nah, I won't say an oak, but we're gonna be like Something. Okay, what? If we ditch two, we could grab ourselves on. Yeah, I got an idea. We're gonna ditch these two. We're gonna grab ourselves a. Let's go, Professor Oak. We're gonna place a water energy on Squirtle, and we are gonna have to oak up a new hand and see what we get. Uh, hopefully we get a breeder and some way to get to a Blastoise. Alright, here's a breed. Alright, here's an oak. I got an idea. I got an idea here. We're gonna grab computer search. We're gonna computer search, discard water energy and water energy. We're gonna grab ourselves a Pokemon breeder. And we're gonna use this Pokemon breeder on this Squirtle right here to evolve it directly into Blastoise. And oak up yet another new hand. Okay. So far we're making pretty good progress right now. So let's see what we get. Water energy on Blastoise. Let's see. Energy retrieval. We're going to discard Squirtle. To grab back these two water energies. We're going to place them direct. Huh. How much damage do we need? About 60. Okay. We just need one more. Energy retrieval. Discard Gust of Wind. To grab ourselves two more water energies. Put this down on Blastoise. And we're just going to go straight for the Hydro Pump. And this would definitely take out the Electabuzz. For 60 damage. Okay. 
Now we grab ourselves this prize card, which is the plus power, his Voltorb. So let's see. Electric energy on Voltorb or on the bench version of it. Okay, we're gonna draw right into Articuno. We're gonna place that down. We're gonna place a water energy on this Articuno. We're gonna take out this Voltorb just to get an additional prize card. So Voltorb is knocked out. We're gonna grab this, which is a bill. Okay, another Voltorb is up. So let's see. Tackle, that's gonna do 20 damage because of weakness. Yep. And let's see. We're just gonna go straight for the hydro pump here. Because I think we can just take it out. I think this is it. I don't think this I didn't check if this is his last Pokemon. But yeah! This is his last Pokemon. We won. Okay, that one was much more easier than the Pikachu one. Because we did get the Blastoise out. Shoot! I lost. Well, no sense crying over spilled milk. Yeah, it's booster pack. We got ourselves a Pikachu. And what do we get out of this Coliseum pack as well? A Zapdos. It'll know the bill, but we already have plenty. I'll do it anytime. Come see me again. Well, nah, I don't think we're going to be doing you. But Nicholas, anyways. Like the Pokemon are the toughest Pokemon. How about it? You want to duel me? Definitely, sure Nicholas. Okay, let's start. One match is four prizes. Okay. Let's see what Nicholas has. And we're gonna draw... See what we have. Let's go! Alright. Oh. Uh, oh. That's awful. This is awful. Okay, we need to go first. Come on. Can we get it? Hits! Yay! Okay! Draw into a Blastoise. Water energy on Squirtle, and go straight for the bubble. Next turn, we got ourselves a Blastoise. Go! No. Oh, wow. But, we got ourselves a Blastoise next turn, which is perfect. Grass energy on Coughing. Fish turn about attacking. Okay. Draw into an item finder. That's not going to matter much, because we're just going to... Let's see what we have. Uh-oh. Wow. We don't have anything. Even if we stop down Blastoise, we can't attack. Yeah. We just got to go straight for the bubble. Paralyze! Yay! Okay. We need at least one more water energy. And that way we could be able to get the Blastoise up and running. Okay. Draw into... Come on. Water energy. No. Okay, let me just check. <gasps> if we have water energy, we would have won. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, this is so dumb. Come on. No. Oh. This blows, man. This actually blows. Man, am I... Oh, we could have won if we had a water energy. I just want to spill that out. But no. Articuno. Well, at least we have something to slap down. You know what? We'll just build up this Articuno right here. And we're just going to go straight for the bubble. So, come on. No. Yeah. 10 damage. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, that's again, yeah, man of my tackle. Okay. Sure, we'll take 20 damage. I doubt we'll get, I hope we get a professor. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> okay, that's perfect. Alright, we're just gonna evolve directly into Blast Toys here because I'm confident we can get a freaking, whatchamacallit, water energy. If we don't get a water energy, I'm gonna flip. Just, I'm just gonna flip right here. So, come on. Yeah. If we didn't get that, I would have been so peed at this point. But, we're gonna discard Squirtle and then Squirtle to grab Oak again. We're gonna 
place down Articuno. We're gonna oak up a new hand again. So seven new cards. So let's see what more we got. We got water energy. We got ourselves a bill to draw two cards. And water energy and just when actually I get an idea. Come on. Come on, I got an idea. Trust me, I got an idea. This, we're gonna retreat directly into this Articuno. We're gonna computer search. This guard got to win. This guard blast toys. We're gonna grab. Oh, actually, we're gonna grab energy retrieval instead. Because we're gonna ditch plus power to grab two of these water energies. We're gonna slap them down right on Articuno. And let's go. Blizzard! Come on. Head, head. Head, head, head. If he places another Pokemon down, I'm so gonna lose it. I'm just gonna so gonna lose it right now. Like, why? Not gonna matter. Just... Try to get 10 damage. No. We could've won this by now. And we would've saved plenty of time. But instead, we failed on a coin flip. Like, this is so bold. I mean, that's fine. I'm about to win right here, but still. We could have actually saved plenty of time for this. And how are you getting so lucky with these coin flips? Like, I'm probably not... Oh, oh, we have resistance to it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, see ya. So, bye. Yep. It's not gonna matter much, but we won. 50 damage, that's it for Geodude, and that's fine, we'll take 10 damage on our bench, because we can grab this, and that's it, and we won, okay, so we finished all these trainers, my lightning deck lost, I can't believe it, yeah, you better believe it, because we got ourselves the Coliseum pack and a Kangaskhan. And another Coliseum pack with a item finder, which we already have plenty of them. I won't lose next time. I'm gonna zap you. Sure, let's go. Well, that ought to do it. It was hard work, but here's our stage. Got to keep it looking smart. I'm the Lightning Club Master. Sure, I'll duel you. Would you like to duel Isaac? Yep. The sparks will fly with six prizes. I'll show you what my Lightning Pokemon deck can do. Let's go. His feet never gets old. Okay. Place the Pokemon with no weaknesses to electric types on the field and build up our squat hole so that we could have a. I, I, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. So that we could have a Blastoise. Let's go. I'll keep one in my hand because I don't think we don't need three of them. Hey! Yay! Alright, draw into a water energy. Bill, draw two cards. What do we have? Articuno, water energy. Let's see. We're gonna ditch some cards. We're gonna ditch this, and we're gonna ditch this energy retrieval. We're gonna grab Oak just in case. But next turn, we're gonna place a Articuno down on our bench. We're gonna water energy this Articuno, and that's it. Let's go. Let's see what you got, Isaac. Electric energy, oh, lightning energy on Magnemite. Done the way. I mean, that's not gonna matter that much. Okay, yeah. But if we do get Bleed on Blastoise, we could actually start putting in the finest of work right now. So come on. Water energy. 
Yep, we're gonna drop that down on Articuno, and let's open up a new hand. So, let's see. Can we get a Breeder and a Blastoise off this draw? We got a Breeder, but no Blastoise. You wanna be up and honest here? I'm gonna open up a new hand again. Like, to be honest here. So, let's see. Can we get ourselves a Blastoise and a Breeder? We got Blastoise. We got Breeder. Yes. Here we go. Now we finally got the Rain Dance combo up and going. Build and draw two new cards. Let's see, Item Finder and a Water Energy. We're gonna use much as Item Finder. We're gonna ditch a gust of wind. And Item Finder to grab ourselves a uh, Energy Retrieval, actually. We're gonna Energy Retrieval, just got a plus power to grab ourselves to Water Energies. We're gonna slap these down right on our Kuno. We're gonna slap this one down on our Kuno. We're gonna oak up yet another new hand. And draw seven new cards. And let's see what we got. Water energy on our Kuno. We're gonna water energy on our Kuno again. And we're gonna. We're just gonna go directly for the attack right now. And just take out this Manamite. Go! Yay! Okay, Mana Might's taken care of. 50 damage. And how many bench Pokemon? One! Okay. Good. Grab this, which is a computer search. Alright, let's see. Come on. Tauros, okay. The electric energy on Tauros. Okay, he's just gonna let this Voltorb go down here. That's fine. Actually, you wanna be honest with you? I'm gonna try to take out this Tauros before you power that thing up. We, yeah, how much? Six? Okay. We just need ditch and ditch. We're gonna grab plus power back. We're gonna do it. And let's go, Blizzard. Finish this Tauros or just one shot it. Okay. Alright, Tauros is taken care of before you could basically power that thing up. And 10 damage directly to Voltorb. We're gonna grab this, which is an energy retrieval. Alright, what are you gonna draw into? Lightning energy on Voltorb. Okay! We actually got this! Wow, that's... <laughs> the person with the flying Pikachu is actually... Or the Pikachu deck is actually more harder than the actual gym leader. Funny enough. Yeah, we won. Alright, see ya, Voltorb. And that's it. We actually beat Isaac right here. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's actually pretty easy. Wow. How can my lightning deck lose? How shocking. Here, take this lightning medal as proof of defeating me. Okay, fifth gym badge against Isaac. We won the lightning medal. And here, take this booster pack too. We got a mystery pack. Which, Ninetales, Pikachu, Mr. Fuji, nothing really that much. And another mystery pack, which is Needle Queen and nothing more. I'm going to polish my card skills, so come do me again. Nah, I don't think we're going to do you again, but hey, you know. We actually managed to beat our fifth gym leader. Uh. Hey, Abby, have you gotten any better? <laughs> I only won the sixth medal, and I'll see how much better you've got it. If you win, I'll give you another rare card. Come on, let's do it. We'll play with six prizes. Okay, Ronald McDonald, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Ronald McDonald has interrupted us while we celebrating after getting our fifth badge against the electric user, and he's going to challenge us. So, let's go. We're gonna place two Articunos down. And let's go. Okay. You only have one Pokemon up on bench. That should be good. Get. Oh. Okay, it's a Tauros. Jinx is on bench. Double colorless energy on Tauros. Stomp. Okay, how much? Alright. I think that's going to do 20 damage. Yeah. Alright, draw into a Squirtle. That's perfect. We could set that down. We're going to Water Energy on Tauros. 
And that's it. We're just gonna let Waddle go ahead. Lightning energy on Tauros. Okay, Stomp. That's gonna do about, if he gets 10, that, okay, yeah, if he gets 10, that's 30 additional damage. So, next turn, Articuno is gonna go down, which I actually am just gonna let it go. So, we're just gonna computer search this, these two to grab ourselves a po Professor Oak right here. And we're just gonna Oak up a new hand. And let's see if we get a Breeder and a Blastoise. And that way we got a win condition. Okay, we got a Blastoise right here. We're gonna fill up two new cards, Blastoise and a Water Energy. We're gonna Item Finder, Ditch, Water Energy and a Blastoise. We're gonna grab a Computer Search. We're gonna Computer Search this card, a plus power and a Water Energy to grab ourselves a Breeder. And now we're gonna use this Breeder on Blastoise, on Squirtle to give us Blastoise. And now we're gonna stop this one energy down on Articuno, and we're just gonna away the turn. So that now we can basically let Articuno go down, or my Articuno calling on the field go down. So now, once we take it out, which he got, took it out with 30 additional damage, which is fine, he's gonna get his first prize card, but that's okay, because we got Articuno. And now, Water Energy, slap it down on Articuno. We're gonna Professor Oak a new hand now. So, let's do it. Seven new cards. Let's see, Water Energy on Articuno. Let's see, we're gonna Bill to draw two new cards, which is an Articuno and another Bill. Draw another Bill, hopefully. Squirtle and a Blastoise, we're gonna Bill once again. Again, to draw two more cards. Can we get a plus power? Got the wind. Oh, no. It's, oh, wait. I didn't mean to. It's okay. We're going to build up this Blastoise right now. We're going to drop this down on Blastoise. Let's go. We're just going to... Actually, we'll just go for the freeze dry and see if we could get a paralyzed. Hits! No. Uh. That sucks. But next turn, we're gonna take out the Tauros. So, Kangaskhan's on bench. Fighting energy on Kangaskhan. Rampage. It's okay. How much that's gonna do? That did a full 50 damage. Okay. Water energy. We're gonna place this Articuno down. We're gonna... Water energy on this Articuno to build it up. And we're just going to go straight for the Blizzard. We're going to see if we can get 10 damage on his bench Pokemon. Come on! Hit! No. Uh, that sucks. But Taurus is taken care of. So we can get our first prize card right here on our match. So we'll grab this, which is an item finder. Jinx is up next. So, come on, let's see what Jinx can do. Fighting energy on Jinx. Double slap. Okay, can it get... Ooh, that's 10. Alright, just 10 damage. Okay. So, how much do we need? 70. So, we're gonna need like two plus powers right here. But, we're gonna item finder, discard... An Articuno and a Squirtle. We're gonna grab ourselves. Yeah, we'll grab a plus power right here. And yeah, we're just gonna computer search this guard a gust of wind and a blastoise to grab a plus power. Because I'm gonna be honest here, I'm just gonna let this Articuno go down. But first I'm gonna take out this jinx and get that one out before we can do any more. So Jinx is taken care of. And 10 additional damage to his bench Pokemon. And King is gonna take 10. We're gonna grab this prize card right here, which is a Breeder. Here comes King is gone again. Or I won't say again, but first time he's summoning it out. Here's Electabuzz. He's putting a lightning energy on Electabuzz. Fetch. Draw a card from your deck. 
Okay. So let's see. Can we get anything good? We got an energy retrieval. We're gonna use it. Just got a breeder to grab two big two auto energies. We're gonna power them up right on Articuno right here. And we're just gonna go straight for the freeze dry and see if we can get it paralyzed. Come on, hit! No. Uh, I mean, that's okay. But next turn, we could take his Kangaskhan out, his Tauros, Fighting Energy on Electabuzz, Fetch to draw a card. So, let's see. Honestly, Fetch isn't really that threatening, if you want to be honest with you. But we're just going to go straight for the Blizzard. We're just going to take out the Kangaskhan. Nope. We failed to get 10 additional damage, but we took out the Kanga, and Blastoise took 10 damage, and Articuno took 10 damage. We're going to grab ourselves this Prize Card, which is an Energy Retrieval. Here's Electabuzz. So, let's see. Electric, electric Energy on Tauros. Thundershock. Okay, that's definitely going to take out Articuno, so see ya. But... At the very least, we can actually go into our next Articuno that we have currently right up on our bench. Which, we'll do that. So, let's go. Do we have anything good? Blastoise. Energy Retrieval, we're gonna ditch Blastoise right here to grab two Water Energies. We're gonna power up this Blastoise right here and also Articuno for Blizzard. And let's go! 10 damage! Can we do it? Yay! Okay. 50 damage to Electabuzz. And 10 damage to Ronald's Bench Pokemon. Okay. Let's see what you got next, Ronald. Got the win. Okay. Into Blastoise. Oh, crap. You're actually gonna try to... Oh, no. Oh, no. You actually took out Blastoise. Oh, God. That's bad. That's really bad. Okay. Squirtle. We're going to play Squirtle down. And we're just going to go straight for the Blizzard. Come on. Go. Yes. Okay. Took Electabuzz out. And 10 damage to his bench Pokemon. Dough Duo takes 10. Tauros takes 10. And we'll grab this, which is an energy retrieval. Here comes Tauros again. So, what do we do? Kangaskhan's on bench. Electabuzz is on bench. Electric energy on Electabuzz. Stomp. Okay, can we get Tails? Tails, Tails, Tails. No. This is going to be a problem. Like, if you want to be honest here. This is going to be a problem once. We essentially lose our Articuno. But we're going to grab these water energies back. We're going to place one on Squirtle. And let's go. We're going to go straight for the Blizzard. Come on. Can we get an additional damage? No. Alright. We took Tauros out. The thing I'm concerned about now is the... Want to try to take out the Doe Duo so that we could get an additional prize card right here. But we're going to grab it. Professor Oak. Okay. I mean, to be fair, that's not going to. Actually, to be fair, actually, I'd rather just have the Professor Oak at that point. Finding Energy on Electabuzz. Done the punch. Yeah, it's just going to take out my. Alright, Kuno. Yeah. But. It's doing 10 damage directly to itself. And Waddle got the prize card. Okay, the big issue now is it's going to come right down to a wire right here. Where we're basically going to have to see if we could be able to beat Waddle right here before our deck runs out. And before he grabs, before we lose all of our entire deck right here. But we're down to 4 cards left. Can we actually get a... Oh, Rick. Okay. 
We're gonna see if we could deal with the dojo right here. We're gonna try to get that out. We're gonna... Let's see, we already placed our water energy down. We're gonna have to plus power and go straight for the bubble. Come on, we're gonna have to take out this Doduo, which we did. And Doduo is down. And we're gonna grab our next prize card. Oh, we won! Oh, we took our last prize card. Okay! We beat Ronald. <laughs> Alright. Shoot, I let you win. But a loss is a loss. So I'll give you this card. We got our promotional card, Super Energy Retrieval. And don't get so cocky just because you won. The legendary Pokemon cards belong to me. Okay, we'll see about that, Ronald. But we're going to head directly to the Psychic Club. And, uh, and I actually want to try to see if I could find an opponent, which we're going to... Because he roams around somewhere, which... We haven't really find at all, which I really would like to try to find him, but I don't know where he's at. But we're just gonna have to let's see. We're gonna head to the grass club and see if he's here. No, we're gonna head back to the electric club to see if he is there because so that we could take someone on. No, which. I don't think he's at the Psychic Club. Like, we actually tried that. Let's see. Right here. I dropped on my card, so I'm putting them in order. No. So, I don't think we could find him. Like, maybe in the Fighting Club. I mean, maybe. I mean, we haven't checked. Nope. Yeah. I don't think he's anywhere. Which I think we all know who I'm trying to look for, but... We already went through here, so there's no need. We're gonna head to the water club and see if he is here. But no. Nah. Eh. I mean, it's okay. We're just gonna leave and we're just gonna head directly to. At best, I think I should just check out the science club and see if he is. Nah. No. And the fire club and see if he is. No, it's okay. I mean, I was just looking for someone, which we all know who I was probably trying to look for, but eh, he might turn up eventually, but I think we could start working on the Psychic Club right now. You've won quite a few medals. Okay, let's duel. But I see the future. You will lose. All right, Stephanie. Okay, a single match with four prizes. Here we go. Okay, let's go, Stephanie. Let's see what you got. Actually, we're like 40 minutes in at the time of recording, so I don't know if I could be able to beat the gym leader, but it depends on how fast this episode actually can go with these trainers. If that's actually a joke. Okay, he, she doesn't have any bench Pokemon. That's fine. Come on, come on. Heads, 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 heads. Uh, yay. Okay, draw right into a wild energy. That's a jinx. Oh. That is awful. Like, that's awful. Because we basically... What am I saying? We basically have a rough time taking out that high HP. But we are gonna stack up our Akuna for right now and just... Click that Squirtle down. So, hopefully we get a Breeder with Oak next turn. Jinx. Okay. It's just gonna do, like, head damage. Nothing more, nothing less. Or oh, 20 damage. But that's fine. But I think we, if we could get the Blast Toys up and running, I think we got it, this match. Computer Search, draw two. Is this anything good? Water Energy, Water Energy. Okay, we're just gonna ditch these two cards to grab ourselves a Breeder right here. Not Breeder, Professor Oak. We're gonna Water Energy on a Kuno. We just need to deal 70 damage, and we could beat Stephanie. And we just need about a blast away down. Okay, we're gonna item finder, discard two water energies to grab a computer search. We're gonna computer search, discard two water energies to grab ourselves a breeder. 
and now we can bleed her directly into Blastoise. And because we already have another Professor Rogue, we can just drop that down to draw seven new cards. And we're making some really great progress. So, let's see. Water energy and water energy. We're just gonna keep stacking. We're gonna water energy fast toys. We're gonna energy retrieval. This guy got the wind to grab these two water energies. We're gonna quick catch them directly to blast toys. And now we're gonna oak once again a new hand. So, seven new cards, and let's see what else. We got Water Energy on Blastoise. We got ourselves a Item Finder. We're going to ditch these two to grab ourselves another Professor Oak. And we're going to... Actually, no. We're not going to do that. We're just going to Energy Retrieval. We've just got a Breeder to grab ourselves both these two Water Energies. We're just going to stack this out of Kuna. Not all the over but Bla yeah, we're just gonna stack Blastoise back up. Oak once again to draw seven new cards. Do we come on? Can we at least get okay? We got plus power. Yeah, we basically win this. Just draw two and another bill. Draw two. I mean, this ain't gonna matter much because we can just basically retreat directly into Blastoise. We're gonna use a plus power. And we're just going to go straight for the Hydro Pump. But this is for 70 damage. And that takes out the Jinx. And we're going to grab this Pyre Scout right here. Which is a bill. And that's it. Okay. Stephanie's down. I can't believe my prediction was wrong. And we got the Laboratory Pack. Which, let's see. We got a Haunter. Nothing much. Another laboratory pack. We grab ourselves a nothing much as well. I see a vision. You're doing me again. Not really. <laughs> like, not really. Let's go. Moe finally came up with a new strategy. He's in a very good mood. So he'll probably do you now, by the way. Would you like to do me? Yes, yeah, sure. Let's play with four prizes. Okay, here we go. Alright, Daniel. Let's go. So, let's see what you got. And hopefully we could be able to beat him. No cards in our hand, okay. And we're going to draw seven new cards. <sighs> Alright, our strategy is going to be perfect. Let's see what we got. We got ourselves a Squirtle. We're going to slap this Articuno down as well. And we're just going to leave it at that. Okay, four prizes, can we go first? Heads! Nope. That sucks. Alright, a pass. That's okay, honestly. I think that's fine. Because he didn't get to attack at all. We're gonna... Computer search, discard... These two to grab ourselves a... Okay, where's he? Come on, where's he? Blastoise. And we're gonna water energy on Squirtle. And come on, we're just gonna bubble right here. Can we get the Paralyze? Yay! Alright, Paralyze the Paris. And let's see what Daniel's gonna do next. Place another Paris down. Okay. Second energy Paris. Alright. That's fine. Honestly, if we get another water energy, that's even better. Because we could basically... Oak! Actually, that's even better, honestly. Because now we could just evolve it right into Blastoise. And just water energy and oak up a new hand. So, honestly, that's the perfect top deck we need in order to win this game. So, let's see. Water energy and... We're going to energy retreat. Actually, we don't have any, but we're going to computer search, ditch, ditch. We're going to grab water energy, and we're going to place that water energy down, and just finish off his Paris. And just get it off. So for 50 damage, that's it. And we're going to grab this prize card, which is the Professor Oak. Here comes another Paris. So let's see what you got. 
finish the turn without attacking. Okay, we won. We basically won this. Let's go. Hydro pump. That's it. See ya. See ya. Bye. <laughs> All right. Which is amazing. Got a guts to win, and that's it for Daniel. Okay. We beat these trainers pretty easily. Let's hope we do the same for Moe. You know, an ordinary player if you can defeat me. But Moe's actually gonna be pretty tough, if you wanna be honest here. We got another Charizard. And another Evolution Pack. What do we got? We got ourselves another Charizard. Imagine you pull this in real life, where you pull two base set Shadowless First Edition Charizards in a row. <laughs> that would be so nice. Next time we play, I'm going to win. All right, Moe. We're going to set up our game right here so that we don't, in case something does screwy, like, I don't know, we crash or something. Okay, Moe. Let's go. Hi, I'm Moe, master of the Psychic Club. You're the one who's visiting the club to win the medals. How do I know this? Because I'm psychic. Okay, let me test my new card strategy against your deck. Are you ready? Yes, sir. When you duel me, it's for six prizes. Shall we start then? Alright. Moe is actually really strong. I know she has a... Not she. I mean, I... No. He, he kind of does look like a goal. I'm not gonna lie. But he basically has, like, a Chances and Mr. Mime and Alakazam that transfers all damage to the Chances. Which, he does have a really good strategy. So, we're gonna hope that we could be able to beat him. Let's see... Heads! Yay! Let's see what you got up front. Is it gonna be a Chansey? Articuno! Snorlax! Yeah! He wants like tons of these bulky cards. With psychics and transferring damage. Like he... Honestly, if you wanna be honest, I think he's actually gonna be our strongest opponent. If you want to be up and honest. But we're going to have to keep powering up Articuno's right here. Because Articuno's actually going to be our gate winner right here. We're going to oak up a new hand. Because we want to try to get a Squirtle down as quickly as possible. Yep, we got it. Now we just need a Blastoise and a Professor. Not Blastoise, we just need a... Yeah, we need Blastoise and a Bleeder. But for now, we're just going to end our turn. And let's see what Moe is going to do next. Psychic Energy on Abra. Okay, finish turn about attacking. The main strategy we're going to have to do is... Okay, we got Breeder. The best thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to try to take out all of our Abras. Before we basically have to deal with... What's it? Alakazam. So that it doesn't transfer all these damage to her... Not, I keep on saying her. Transfer all the damage to his Pokemon. That are very bulky. But we're gonna plus power it up. We're gonna oak up a new hand. Let's go. Seven new cards. Alrighty. Let's see what we got. Water energy. Let's see. Water energy. We're gonna drop a item finder. Discard. Discard. We're gonna grab a energy retrieval. We're going to Energy Retrieval right here. Just got Blastoise to grab two Water Energies. Slap them down on Articuno. And we're going to Oak up a new hand again. we got to also make sure we don't deck out. But hopefully we actually finish him off here. We're going to Water Energy Articuno. And build up this Articuno again. And same thing. And same thing. Oh! I, I clicked too fast. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. We're just gonna go straight for the blizzard. Come on. 10 damage. Go! No. Eh, yeah, well. But, we're almost close to taking out the black... Not black, so it's the Snorlax. Which is perfectly fine here. Let's see what Moe has got. Let's see. Albert's on bench. Scoop up. Oh. Yeah. Psychic Energy on Mr. Mime. Storlax is down. Finish the turn without attacking. Okay. 
Blastoise. We're gonna have Blizzard right here. Can we get 10 additional damage? Go! No. That's gonna do nothing to Mr. Mime. Yeah. Mr. Mime has the ability where 10... When it takes damage, it doesn't really work at all against it. So, we're gonna have to take it out with like a squad or something. Meditate. Okay. This is not good. Water energy. Okay, we're gonna have to drop Squirtle down. We're gonna have to build this Squirtle up. But, can we at least try to get 10 damage on his bench Pokemon? Oh, come on. Yeah. Yeah. We're going way over the time limit here because... Moe is just really difficult. I wouldn't say really difficult, but... But his strategy is really good. We gotta mostly try to... Hopefully we get all these Blizzard 10 damage off. Because I don't want to deal any more of these Pokemon. We're gonna have to immediately switch. Like, we're gonna have to switch directly into this Squirtle. And just go Water Energy on this Articuno right here. And we're going to have to go straight for the bubble. We're going to have to try to hope we take it out really fast. Okay, good. We got the Paralyzed right here. 10 damage. So, Squirrel's our best option to take this Mr. Mime out. Finish turn about attacking. Okay. Alright, draw right into... Scoop, got the win. Well... Let's just wait. I ain't got an idea. We're just gonna wait on that. No. No, that sucks. Okay, 10 damage to Mr. Mime. Alrighty. Got the wind. Okay, into who? Crap. Oh, crap. Like, no. No, no, no. Alrighty. I mean, that's okay. Honestly, might as well just go back into this Squirtle. And draw into another Squirtle. Alright, we're gonna drop this Squirtle down. We're gonna have to bubble. Hope for a Paralyze. Come on. Good. Okay. Alright, Mr. Mime is Paralyzed. We got an idea here. I'm actually gonna... Actually... Yeah, we're just gonna finish turn about attacking. Okay, draw into. Come on, give me something good. Bill, okay. Draw two cards. Let's see, plus power and a water energy. Yeah, we're gonna have to build this Articuno up. Come on, we're gonna immediately retreat right into. Alakazam. Not Alakazam. Articuno. We're gonna gust the wind right into. One of her, uh, uh, Kanta keeps saying her, one of his Abbas, and we're gonna go straight for the blizzard. Come on, go. Oh, come on. This just ain't fair. This ain't fair. Like, how come I'm not getting all my coin flips right, and he's getting so lucky with everything else? Like, this just ain't fair at all. Alright, we're gonna take 10 additional damage. We're gonna grab our first pirate card, which is an energy retrieval. Yeah, everything is just ain't stacked in my favor right now. Abba, yeah. 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 What? Uh, yeah, Articuno's gonna go down. 40 damage. Yeah. <sighs> I might as well just take out this Mr. Mime right here with our Squirtle. So let's do it. Which we're just gonna do it right now. Energy retrieval. This got a breeder. We're gonna grab ourselves two water energies. We're gonna stop one down on Squirtle. We're gonna stop one down on Blastoise. And let's just go. We're just gonna go straight for the bubble. We're just gonna finish off this Mr. Mime. It doesn't really matter. Even if it does get to paralyze or not. Mr. Mime is down. So, we're gonna grab this card, which is a bill. 
Okay. Let's see what Moe has next. Chansey is placed on the bench. Psychic Energy on Abra. Side shot. Okay. Just don't get the hat. Okay. Good. I mean, that's okay. Honestly, I think the score is gonna potentially go down eventually, but we're gonna have to see if we could be able to take him out before that. Take out the Abra first. We're gonna grab these. We're gonna item finder, discard a Blastoise and a computer search. We're gonna have to grab an energy retrieval. We are gonna retreat directly into Blastoise right here. Energy retrieval, discard a plus power to grab two copies of water energy. Slap them all down. Actually, I won't say I'll slap all of them down. I'm just gonna use a few. And we're just gonna go straight for the hydro pump to take Abba out. So let's grab this prize card, which is an energy retrieval. Here comes Chansey. Okay. Let's see. Chansey's placed on bench. Now this whole thing is just gonna be like, okay, can we take out all these bulky Pokemon before we deck out essentially? We're gonna have to go straight for the hydro pump. To deal 50 damage, actually 40 damage. Chansey is just insanely bulky as heck. Alright, we're gonna draw into computer search. We're gonna have to water energy on Blastoise, so that's 50. How much? 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah. We're gonna have to wait yet another turn. So, 50 damage. Okay. Alrighty, Psychic Energy on Chansey, finish turn about attacking, alright, that's perfect. I don't think we could use Bill here, we're just kind of going to go straight for Hydro Pump right now. To try to get all these Chanseys out of here, like, really fast. And come on, get me something good! Squirtle, that's not good. Like, that's not going to help. And, come on, Kangaskhan's on bench, that's okay. Honestly, I'll take the fetch ability as long as... We can't Professor Oak here. We're going to have to try to. We can't choose any of our draw cards anymore. We're going to have to try to win here with what we got. So, come on. Finish turn about attacking. All right. Draw into Water Energy. Okay. We're going to have to... Yep, we're going to have to drop yet another Water Energy on this Blast Toys and just go straight for the Hydro Pump. So that's 60 damage. Okay. We're one attack away for taking out this Chansey. Okay. Draw. We only have three cards left. Come on. Hydro Pump. Take this Chansey out. We need an item finder right here. Or plus power. Or something to give us another boost. Water energy. Okay. Kangaskhan is left. Okay. How much? Okay, that's from Abba. Okay, we need to take out that Abba fast. And that way before we deck out. Got to win. Yes. Okay, perfect. Good. Just send out a random Abba. Just go straight for the Hydro Pump. There we go. Took Abba out. And we actually won. We actually won on our first try against Moe. And we bit we're over an hour long. But now it's like a waste for like our deck to run out. Hmm. I lost. Hmm. Well, you must be pretty good if you're trying to inherit the legendary Pokemon cards. Here, take this psychic medal. Okay. We actually made it to the exact same progress, but we actually almost to the exact same progress that we did during our last series of this game. In here, take this laboratory booster pack. Okay, we received the Laboratory Booster Pack. What do we get? Uh, nothing much. And another Laboratory Booster Pack. What do we get? Uh, nothing much. I'll think of a new strategy, so come see me again. I'll be waiting. <laughs> no, I don't think we're going to be facing you again. But yeah, that's going to wrap. Oh my god, I can't keep forgetting the question of the day. Well, well... It's always going to be for the end of the episodes now, I guess. Well, eh. Okay, question of the day. Mm. 
Actually, I can't really think of one. Oh, oh, I think of one. Since we took on the psychic gears, I'm wondering, what's your favorite psychic type Pokemon? Like, what is one of your favorite psychic types? Because we never actually answered this, asked this question before. But yeah, what is one of your favorite psychic types? For me personally, it's Alakazam, which we all know about. But I know it's a generic, easy question to ask. And I might have asked this before, maybe, but hey, you know, I can't really think of a question of the day for this episode other than that, so, yeah. But yeah, if you guys do like the video, like the video down below and all that, answer the question of the day, which I probably asked that before, but hey. In the next episode, we're going to take on the Rock-type user for our seventh gym badge. And hopefully we take on the fighting. I won't say we'll take on the fighting one, but we might in the next one to get our eighth one. But yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy the video because we're almost done with this game. We're actually making it pretty fast progress. And I'll see you all next time for the next episode, which we're going to be a few episodes away from finishing off this series. So see you guys then.